Good morning everyone, welcome back. And this morning we have an interesting new video. Today I'm gonna to spend the entire day fishing a completely new area. The sun is just on the way up over here. I've never been to this spot in my life before, so today we're gonna to try and figure it out together. Got the kayak completely decked out, all set up and ready to go. Ooh. Okay, let's get a bit situated. Well, this tide is still pumping in, which is a good sign. It means we're not here too late. We have a bridge on this side and endless river, which leads down to the ocean on this side. So we're gonna head down here. Goodbye, Commodore. So, completely new area this morning, as I said. I've never fished here before, and in my opinion, that's the exciting thing. I love exploring new areas, fishing completely new spots, and trying to figure them out. So. I've chosen a really, really good area, I think. We have some really deep holes which we're gonna be targeting on the tide change. We have a lot of sand flats, a lot of areas where we could target some brim and flat it as well, but my main focus for today and my main focus for pretty much the whole of recently is to catch a big river dewfish. I know how to catch dewfish off the rock walls and in the surf, but I haven't yet figured out how to catch them from my kayak in the river. It's been a big challenge, but I'm hoping today we'll figure it out. It's a pretty cool little spot. Oh, there's multiple boat ramps. Multiple. The mist rolling off the river looks magical and that's exactly where we're headed. <laughs> Hopefully that's a good sign. More bait. That's a good sign. Very good sign straight away. We're already seeing some bait. Look at that. That has got to be a Jew. That's bait. And I'm guessing that's a Jew sitting underneath it. I just knew that a fish would have been holding there. It was just a really nice ledge I could see on Navionics. Oh, there it is again. Oh, we're gonna drop that vibe right down on that. Those are some good fish down there. Happy to have found some life straight away. Those look like good fish. I'm just gonna have a little go on them. Okay, that's the lure we're gonna be using. A little vibe right there. Also got a paddle tail rigged up on that rod as well, but let's drop that vibe down. All the way down. Good bit of bait there. Pretty sure the fish are sitting out over here, so I have a few casts out that way. Over this ledge. Oh, got one. We got something. Didn't take too long. What is that? I felt him whack that. Drag's a little bit too loose, but... Oh, it's a flatty. It's a nice flathead. Oh, you got off. Got a whack already. Man, I thought that was a little Jew. <laughs> oh, there's bait in the area. There's a flatty, so... There could be some other fish. Good signs. Good signs already here. Turn that drag up a little bit. All I'm doing is just slowly hopping this thing along the bottom. I found some bait, found a flathead, so that means there's fish feeding on the bait. Now we just need to hope that a Jew's in the area. Definitely could be. I'm sounding up some cracking arches on the sounder. Just gonna float that down, watching the line. So we're in 12 meters of water, so it takes a while for it to hit the bottom. Hit the bottom there, and I'm slowly just hopping that along the bottom. A big lift, and I'm making sure I'm keeping contact with that lure on the way down. I think I'm in a really good area. We've got deep water behind us here. We're pretty much on the shallower ledges while the tide's slack because the bait kind of pushes off those ledges. The fish spread out a little bit. And, oh, there we go. That's another flathead, I think. Feels decent. There we go, the fish kind of spread out over these ledges. Is that a brim? Is that a brim? This could be my first brim. Awesome, this is actually my first brim up here. On 30 pound litre. There he is there. First brimbo. It's called a flatty and a brim now. There's a couple fish on the sounder which definitely aren't brim. So we're in the right area. The first brim in a few days of fishing which is really surprising. But we'll let him go. See you bud. The most amazing part about that is how long it took me to catch a brim here. <laughs> Four or five days worth of fishing. That's our first brim on this little vibe. Vibe in the deep. This is a fun way of fishing. You really never know what you're going to get. Flathead, brim. But we're targeting Jewies, so. There we go. I failed him grab that. Ooh, feels decent. That's gonna be a good flathead, I reckon. 
shaking his head a fair bit. Not bad at all. Right along that contour yet again, we've got another fish vibing the deep. Was that another brim? No way, that's another brim. It is. <laughs> well, I thought that was going to be a good flatty. Just a little bit of a foul hooked brim. Nice little brimby. Off you go. Man, when I say the tide's ripping, it is an absolute understatement. It is flying at the moment. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a change of plans. We might just hop some plastics around some of these creek mouths. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be fishing the deeper water with vibes later on, but until the tide slows down, it's just not really possible. It's ridiculous how fast the water's moving here. It's crazy, but I've got this little paddle tail rigged up. I was just using this for dew, so try it for some flatties now. Got a little creek mouth in front of us here. There's the entrance. So I'm hoping there's some flathead at the mouth of this little creek. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed recently, but I've been using completely new gear. So this lighter combo and the lighter combos which I've been using are Black Mamba TT rods and the reels are ITX uh, Akuma reels. So it's all been pretty good so far. Really good. I'm gonna cast that in the shallows over there. This is exactly where I lost that last one. There's gotta be another flathead up there. How is there no more flatties here? Oh, there we go. Knew there had to be another one swimming at me. There we go. Don't think he's very big. Yeah, only a little fella. You're not the size flathead that we're after, mate, but you're a decent one. Second one of the day. Good little fish. See, you, mate. Off he goes. So get another cast back up there. Definitely could be more. Twitch, twitch, pause. That's the method which I'm using for these flatties, and it's almost the only method which I use. It works so well. Just twitch, twitch, and let it sit. Yeah. Twitch, twitch, let it sit. Very simple technique. Oh, there goes another flatty. Oh, that was a f good one. Oh, no, I don't know if you guys saw that. That was a big... F oh, no, what is going on? There's heaps of flathead here. Another one. Oh, wait a minute. I need to have a cast. I just scared like three or four big flatties. Oh, that's shocking. They were some good flathead too. There's one of the lies. He's Oh, there we go. Right here. We got one of them. He's not as big though. Man, I just scared some good flatties. Number three of the day. Solid little fish. If you want to eat one, he'll be a good size to do so. <sighs> Spion. I just scared so many good flatties. Honestly, it makes sense. They're sitting on this side of the creek because the tide's running out. They're ambushing anything which comes over the ledge. What didn't make sense was me not putting a cast there because I would have got one for sure. Oh, there we go. Another one. He engulfed that and he's swimming out. That could be a better one. It is a little bit better one, I think. Random little bank right along the edge and we've caught... Oh. Two flatties in a couple casts. There we go. There he is. What a quality little fish. How? Probably a what? I don't know. 50 centimetre flatty, so not a bad little fish at all on that paddle. Little paddle tail. See you, mate. We've fished this paddle tail enough now. We've caught a few little flatties, but if there's any big girls around, big flatties in this area, that should get them. So using this hard body is still very similar to using the plastic cast out over that bank we're in 0.8 of a meter it's probably 0.5 up there and twitch twitch pause that's the whole technique this looks like an area where that'd be there we go we got one how big is he i don't think he's very big though but we got one just shows you how aggressive they are there he goes I expect the big ones to be up here where it's hard to fish. Oh, there we go, another one. Could be a little bit better. It is. Not much bigger, I don't think, but might be the biggest one of the day, I think. Oh, for sure, yeah. He's not bad. He's the biggest one of the day. That is what you call a very nice flathead. He's gonna go nuts. 
Oh, he got off. Perfect. Ah, there she is. Well, that's the best one of the day. Don't really want to shred my hand, but you can see her there. Probably a 50 something. Ow. I reckon this area has been fished. I think that's going to be me done in this area. I'm not really a fan of the spot up here and there's nowhere else for me to really go. So I'm going to head back to the ramp. Good day exploring. We caught a heap of flatties, a couple of brim, but no big jewfish yet again. So what I might actually do is roll on to tomorrow where I might go out again in the morning, vibe some deep holes and do the same thing yet again. So I guess I'll see you in the morning. As promised, I'm back out here the very next morning and it is bright and early. The sun hasn't even came up yet. First light is pretty much happening now. So we're going to get straight into the fishing action, dropping down some vibes, doing the same technique as yesterday. Hopefully with some better results. A little bit of life along this ledge. Let's see what it's about. Oh, there's one there. Oh, that's big. Oh, that was a hit. I definitely just had a hit. There's a lot of fish right here. They're right below me, man. Many of them. How are we not getting a bite, man? We did have a hit, I reckon. Did have a hit. There we go. We got something. Yeah, we got one, I think. We got something. Is that a tailor? No, that's a Jew. It's got to be a Jew. Yes, I think we got one. Come on. Is that a Jew? Or is that a big tailor? There's a bit of weight there. It kind of feels like a tailor, though. Oh, no, it's a little Jew. Yes. Yes, we got one. Oh, nice. He's only small, but we'll take him. Yes, a little Jewy. <laughs> oh man, that took ages, ages to finally get one. He's only a little soapy, but that's cool, man. There he is right there. He's a little bit bigger than some of the other ones we've caught, but still not a giant. Oh yes. <laughs> There he is there, a really nice little Jew. Definitely no monster. Not as big as some of the other ones which I'm seeing down there, but I'll take him any day of the week. It's been a little bit of a struggle and we finally ticked one off. We've definitely had some more plucks as well, so we'll get him going. See you, mate. Off he goes. <gasps> Hooked him on such light gear and he barely even fought. That's very surprising. Gonna put a little bit more scent on that lure just to mask the smell of me or that fish. Man, been flicking for about an hour now. Had a couple of plucks on the exact same lure, actually. Haven't had a touch on the vibe, but the paddle tails had a couple of whacks. There's some big fish down there, too. I'm sounding up some monsters. That's me done for today. Well, the plan was just for a little quick hit morning session, and we've done exactly that. We caught the one little jewfish. We had a couple of hits. We dropped another one. So overall, a pretty successful morning out. And if you include yesterday, it was a really good couple of days fishing. So I'm gonna head back in now, but if you enjoyed this one, leave a like on the video, comment some videos which you wanna see in the future. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.